Yes, I was a competitive ballroom dancer throughout my 20s. I traveled all over the country, went to national championships for a number of years, and it was one of the best things I did with my life. How did this help you in your career? Ballroom dancing was helpful in two very concrete ways. First, it helped me develop my network. Now, networking is about developing relationships with lots of different people. I often talk about don't just focus on your industry. I know lots and lots of engineers. Ballroom dancing is not just engineers. I met all sorts of people and developed relationships with them, became friends with them. And so it was great for meeting new, different, wonderful people. The second thing it did for me, it helped with my public speaking. Now, that seems very surprising because if you've ever seen ballroom dance competitions, there's not a lot of talking. You're not on the floor delivering a speech. You're dancing the whole time. You don't say a word. But really, when it comes to public speaking, a lot of it is confidence. It's a confidence of, oh, my God, what if my, my fly is unzipped, right? What if I say something stupid? What's the audience going to do? How will they react? Being on that ballroom floor, you know, I've done some not great things. I had some moves like, ooh, that felt terrible. You know, that looked really bad. And I was literally being judged for it. But it was okay, right? No one laughed at me. No one said, what are you doing here? It was never super embarrassing. And so going out, being judged, screwing up many, many times, but recognizing it's okay and getting through that helped to give me confidence to stand in front of other people. And so in my public speaking, yes, I have to worry about my diction and make sure I have a clear message, body language, all of that's very important. But confidence underlies a lot of it, and ballroom dancing helped me achieve it. And to anyone listening, whether it's ballroom dancing or any type of performance, acting, other styles of dancing, martial arts, many other sports, that's going to help give you confidence, which will help you with your public speaking. This is a great example of leveraging your skills in one area of life to help you in a different area of life. Well said. And that, by the way, is one of the themes in the book, because you can read that leadership book. Okay, this is helpful. Or that communication book, also helpful. But we know, for example, that good leaders know how to negotiate and good negotiators know how to communicate. And they all build upon each other. And so we want to leverage what we get in each of these areas to reinforce and build up that overall capability to help us succeed in our careers.